Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. So people are still very much in a risk off mindset and who knew buying a monkey picture for $100,000 was quite risky. So that is not good for NFTs as a whole. A lot of projects are failing to mint out. We are seeing aggressive flippers kill a floor just to try to make a little bit of profit. The only project I have seen do well is one I actually covered in my previous video, the Lacoste one, which is of course a web two brand and they currently have a floor of 0.34. So after it minted out, it did end up going way higher. You are currently sitting at a four X if you held this and decide to flip right now. But other than that, we are seeing a lot of projects struggle. Now, many projects I'm speaking with are really scared to launch right now. A lot of them want to delay their mint, even though they might've already delayed it once before because of how bad the market was a couple of weeks ago. Now, there are two big reasons they want to delay their mint. One, they're scared of not minting out, of course. The other one is a lot of people are complaining about high prices. If you have a mint that's essentially 0.1 or higher, people are going to say it's too high, lower the price. But those people are, of course, purely thinking of the flip. They're not considering that Ethereum is down way bad. So if they have a super low mint price, they're not going to raise nearly enough money to be able to create this project and have it be a long-term term project, pay a bunch of team members and build an actual brand or whatever they're trying to build. So it's kind of a double edged sword and we're essentially forcing projects to be a rug or a slow rug if we're not going to allow them to raise enough money to build what they're promising. Now, short term, I have no idea how we're going to fix this. I do feel like a lot of these quick flip projects are just not going to perform well in this current market. So I thought it would be a great idea to look at some upcoming projects that are more of a long term investment and that have really real world utility. Now I'm not saying they're not going to be flippable, but I'm just saying they have plans over a long period of time and they actually want to build a useful product or they want to help advance the space. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I say in this video is not financial advice. It's just my opinion. You should always do your own research before buying or selling anything. So the first project on today's list is called Last Hopium. And what they're trying to do is bring the hospitality space from web two to web three. Now the founder is fully doxxed and his company owns 14 five-star hotels all around the world, as well as other luxury brands. However, for the start of this project, it's purely going to be focused on hospitality, so hotels. Now, as for the NFTs, there's going to be three different tiers. There's going to be bronze, silver, and gold. Each is going to have different perks. However, the shared perks among them is going to be discounts and token allocation. So as you can see here, you're going to get a discount on booking a room. You're going to get a discount on the spa, and you're also going to get a discount on food and beverage. This is going to vary based on the kind you got. So here with bronze, if you got silver, of course, a bigger discount, gold, an even bigger discount. You're also going to get five to 20,000 of their native token when they do launch it sometime in Q3. Now with the gold, you're also going to get the skeleton key, which is access to exclusive clubs and restaurants. And you're also going to get the trials of Pantheon, which we're going to look at. Now, of course, the gold with the biggest discounts, it will be the most expensive at 0.55 and it will have the smallest supply at 500, where the bronze is going to be a supply of 3,000 at 0.22 and the silver is going to be 1500 at 0.33. Now I know what you might be thinking here. I don't plan to stay at any of their 14 hotels anytime soon. So how is a discount going to benefit me? But like I said, this is a long-term investment. So they have cooked in different ways for you to earn, even though you maybe never plan to ever visit one of their hotels. So if we look at this slide here, they have three different tiers. They have the savings, they have the earnings, and they have the creation tier. So these savings is of course, these savings are gonna get if you stay at one of their hotels. The creation tier is that perk we saw in gold, the trials of the Pantheon. This is essentially like Shark Tank, where you get to pitch your idea to the founders as they are very successful businessmen who have launched companies in a bunch of different industries. But the one that I think people are actually going to be interested in is going to be this earnings tier. So there's gonna be multiple ways you could do this. Twice a month, the Rift X is gonna open up. And then for $20 USD, you could purchase these loot boxes and there's different tiers that you could randomly be assigned. So if you get the basic one, it's gonna be just token allocation. But then you can see here, there's different packages. And in these packages, it gives you additional discounts. It even gives you a free night or an upgrade on your room. And what you're going to be able to do with these is they're going to have a marketplace similar to bookings.com, Trivago, 
TripAdvisor, one of those where they show you a bunch of different deals on hotels and you're going to be able to sell these packages to other people. Now, the other way you're gonna be able to earn with your key is you're also going to be able to rent out your key to people who are interested in staying at these hotels. So let's say you have the silver key, you get 35% off of a room. What you're gonna be able to do is list it on their marketplace and offer a 25% discount or whatever number you pick, 27, on the room that they wanna stay at. And then from the difference, the 75% that they pay to the hotel, that 10% that you didn't give them, because as we said, you only gave them 25% of the 35% discount you get with the silver key, you are gonna be able to make that cash back. So if the stay at their hotel is $1,000, they are getting $250 off and you are getting paid $100. Now they do have this final slide which shows you the discount potential that you can get. And from here, you can also calculate if you do put your key on their marketplace, potentially how much money you can make. So like I said, this is a long-term investment and they are offering you both discounts and the ability to rent out your key to make passive income, just listing it and making money on their marketplace. Now I do think this is the type of product that will attract a very different type of person as it's not gonna attract the typical NFT degen that's just trying to flip a PFP. This has real world utility where if somebody is interested in staying at one of their hotels and not just their 14 hotels, they plan to partner with a ton of people in the space as they have a bunch of connections in the hospitality industry. So ideally there's gonna be hundreds of hotels on their website and anybody who's gonna be staying there, it's a no brainer to get one of your keys or to rent it out in order to take advantage of those discounts. I also see businesses potentially getting a bulk amount of their keys just to be able to send their employees to the hotels if they're going to a conference, if they're going to meet a client in a different country. And from there, they're gonna be saving a ton of money, especially if they have the gold key, they're gonna be saving 40% per employee per stay. The second project on today's list is quite a wild idea and that is called Satoshi Island. So this is literally purchasing luxury real estate on a private island in Vanuatu. Now I know what you're thinking because I thought it too. The first thing that came to my mind was Fire Festival. I don't know if you remember that. It was like that festival a few years ago that was supposed to be super lit. Ja Rule was part of it. They had a bunch of celebrities that were promoting it. It was supposed to be this luxury festival, but it ended up being just a bunch of FEMA tents and basically the food was like slices of bread or something. But I did speak to one of the team members. I vetted him. He was even on the island on webcam showing me the island. And they have been building this for about five years. Now, I did have a ton of questions for them, anywhere from food, how they're going to get food on the island, transport, you know, people coming on and off the island, electricity, internet, plumbing, you know, where are people going to go to the bathroom? And how's it going to be set up in these villas? Security, they do plan on having 24-7 private security, medical, they're gonna have 24 seven medical staff on the island. They also said they're gonna have a direct line to emergency response. The currency they're gonna use on the island is going to, or currencies is gonna be cryptocurrencies. They are gonna have different clubs and bars just to keep people entertained. And the entire thing is apparently government approved. They have documents that they have been showing to show everyone that yes, the government is aware they're doing this and they have approved of this project. Now, while I can't directly vouch for them because at the end of the day, I don't know, right? I can say I have vetted them. It does seem like they have all their ducks in a row. Now as for the NFTs, the way it's gonna work, there are gonna be 2,100 plots of land available on this private island. And each plot is gonna be split up into 10 NFTs. So a total of 21,000 NFTs. Now if you wanna purchase just one, it is going to be 1.5 Ethereum. However, However, if you want one plot, you're gonna to need to have 10 pieces. You are gonna get a discount. It's only gonna be 1.1 Ethereum if you buy multiple. And they did say if you buy in bulk, they're going to guarantee that your pieces of land are next to each other. Now, all that gets you is the land. If you want a living space, which is optional, if you wanna just keep the land as an investment and sell it in five, 10 years to somebody else, you can do that. But if you do want to visit it, if you want to live somewhere, you are gonna be able to purchase one of these little pods or modules that the founder, James Law actually installed a bunch in Hong Kong. So he has tested them out. And now you are gonna be able to use them on the island. You're able to stack them up to three levels high. You're also able to put multiple next to each other. So it creates a bigger living space. You're gonna be able to put stairs between levels either on the inside or the outside. And you're also able to make this like an apartment complex where you do have multiple units 
just stacked on top of each other, but each one is separate from another and you're gonna be able to rent those out on their marketplace. So passive income, if you do choose to do this. Now, like I said, these do not come with the initial investment into their land. Each one of these is gonna be $90,000 USD, which includes the installation. Now they are partnering with a ton of different projects. So the center of the land, it seems like it will belong to different projects. I do know Project Gajira, for example, does have a plot of land. So there will be headquarters for your favorite projects available on this island. Now, overall, I do think this is a a very cool idea. We're always talking about how Web3 is gonna change ticketing, it's gonna change music, and now we're seeing, or at least I'm seeing for the first time, NFTs and real estate, where you could purchase actual land in the real world as an NFT. So this is a very cool, it's unique, and definitely a very ambitious project. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. If you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash the bell notification. Thank you for watching Crypto Gorilla. Peace.